I went to the lumber store today and I found this beautiful piece of cherry with this gorgeous detail on top. I paid $24.50 for the whole piece. It's 287 centimeter long or 113 inches. The holiday season is just around the corner and it's time to start making some gifts. I want to make something simple yet unique and special. Therefore, I will create a top grain cutting board. So, lessons on fun. Let's start by measuring the first cut. I want the board to be 70 by 18 centimeters. Next step, let's rip this bad boy into pieces. The easiest way to cut a long piece of lumber is by using the miter saw. I'm using the previous cut of piece to mark the cut line for the next piece. The lumber was still a little rough around the edges, so I used my jointer to get square edges. This is going to be the final shape of the board. Make sure there are no gaps in between the cutting lines and the edges are flush against each other. The upper part of the board has a beautiful pattern to it and I will use resin to fill in the holes. For now, I will glue up two of the three boards since I want to run the board through my planner and the maximum width my planner can handle is about 30 centimeters. Make sure you apply enough glue, rather have too much than too little. Tighten the clamps. You want it very tight, but not too tight that the boards start to bend. Use as many clamps as you have, the more the merrier. Now let the board sit to dry. In the meantime, let's take the upper board to my craft studio. The top board I use tape to close the holes to be able to pour in the resin. Like always, I will use total board resin. Since the pour is not very thick, I will use the tabletop resin. It has a 1 to 1 mixing ratio. Work in a well ventilated area or use a respirator. To make the mixing more fun, you know what's next. Resin dance! Alright, back to business. To spread the resin throughout the cracks I'm using a syringe. This works amazing since it's very hard to get the resin into holes. Like this, you fill it from the bottom up. Let the resin fully dry. The glue has fully dried. It's time to take off the clamps. To make the boards perfectly straight after the glue up, I will use my planner. Also the resin has fully cured by now. I will run both boards through the planner at the same time to make sure I get an even thickness on both parts. Here is a little tip if your vacuum hose won't stay attached to the planner, use a small clamp and attach it to it. Also the clamp will help keep the hose tucked away. Alright, the planner is ready to go. Let's tie back the hair and get the second board. Make sure you take off as much tape as you can before you run it through a planner. You don't want it to get all clogged up. I did end up having small holes on the bottom side of the board. To fill in those tiny holes, I'm using Starbond Instant Adhesive. Since it is on the bottom side of the board, I'm not worried about it being food safe. Sand the board briefly before running it through the planner. As 
as you can see, the board came out beautifully. Now it's time for the last glue up. Like always, don't be shy with the glue. I'm using my rubber brush to spread the glue. It comes in really handy. Here it is very important to glue the boards together properly. They won't fit through the planner anymore, so any unevenness I will have to hand sand. And this would not be pretty. But this worked out great. Let's give it some time to dry. Now it's time to remove the clamps. This came out perfect. Now it's time for the boring part of sanding. But you know, I'm not gonna make it that boring. Let's have some fun. As for the edges, I want a very slight bevel. Therefore, I'm using the sander just to knock over the edges. To not have any bad surprises after the first time you use the board, make sure you erase the grain. Just spray some water on and let it dry. After the water has fully dried, sand the board one more time lightly. And now, it's finally time to apply some Woodbury Designs Liquid Hydration. Don't be shy with the oil. Apply some generous amount. Liquid hydration is food safe and you do not have to wear gloves to apply it. However, I just like to wear them. Give the wood a few hours to soak in as much as it wants, then wipe off any excess. Now it's time for a layer of Moose Magoose wood butter. Using circular motions, rub in a small amount of Moose Magoose. Let it dry for a few hours and then come back and buff it. I attached four legs to the cutting board to raise it up from the table for easy handling and to make it slip resistant. Pre-drill the holes so the wood doesn't crack. After you pre-drill the holes, attach the legs with the screws provided. Let's clean up the mess. And we are fertig! Like always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Tschüss!